At the bottom of page 196, there's a purple box that talks a little bit about triangles. This isn't a geometry class, so we're not going to go into a lot of detail about why these facts are true. But we will use certain conventions, and there is another fact that you need to know in order to do problems like this. The convention is that when we're labeling a triangle, we'll label the vertices with capital letters, usually A, B, and C, but sometimes other letters as well. When we label the sides, we use lowercase a, b, and c. Another convention is whatever you label a vertex, the side opposite it will have the same letter, but where the vertex, the angle, is labeled with a capital letter, the side opposite is labeled with a lowercase letter, but they're the same letter. Angle b vertex B is opposite side B, but the angle is a capital B and the side is a lowercase b. Angle C, side C. Another thing to keep in mind is that while it may be obvious, when I talk about angle A, I'm talking about this angle here. In degrees, how far is it from this line here up to this line here. Well, that may be part of what we're trying to figure out. My point is that this is angle A, not this. I'm not looking at this great big number of degrees here. I'm looking for the small number of degrees between the two lines. Another way to think of the letter A, in addition to it being the name of this angle, is a way of describing the number of degrees in the angle. So if A was, say, 30 degrees, we could write A equals 30 degrees. It's the measurement of the angle. Here's the punchline. When I take angle A, add angle B, and add angle C, the measures of angle A, B, and C, add it up, always equal 180 degrees. So this is a fact that we need to know in order to solve some of the problems in this part. If you're getting ready to take the midterm or the final, don't forget that you can write this on your note card. It's not something you have to memorize. Okay, here's our example. The angles in a triangle are such that one angle is twice the smallest angle, whereas the third angle is three times as large as the smallest angle. Whenever possible, I like to draw myself a picture of the situation I'm being asked to work with. Let's draw ourselves a triangle, and then let's label the angles A, B, and C. Now, I could also label the sides A, B, and C, but I don't need to because I'm only working with angles in this problem. Here's what I know. The angles in a triangle are such that one angle, let's say this one here, this angle right here is twice the smallest angle. Angle B is twice the smallest angle. It's twice a. Whereas, it just means and or but. The third angle, that has to be our C, the third angle is three times as large as the smallest angle. So we're still talking about the A being the smallest angle. C is three times as large as the smallest angle. That fact from geometry that we were working with a minute ago? The sum of all three angles in any triangle will always be equal to 180 degrees. A plus B plus C is 180. But look, here's a different way to write B. B can be written 2A.
and C, well, C can be written a different way as well. C can be written as 3A. Of course, I still have this A. And now my sentence only has the letter A in it. I have one A, two more A's, and three more A's here for a total of six A's. The multiplication property of equality lets me divide both sides by six, and I get A equals 30. So A, the angle A, is 30 degrees. If A is 30, then B is 2 times A. B is 2 times 30 degrees. B is 60. And C? Well, C is 3 times A, or 3 times 30 degrees. So C is 90 degrees. The triangle I've drawn here is not to scale. This isn't quite a 90 degree angle, but that doesn't matter. All I was doing here was giving myself a place to work out what was happening. I found the measures of all three angles. A is 30 degrees, B is 60 degrees, and C is 90 degrees.